Hi, this is Jorik with Crypto Manufacture. I'm going to show you how to set up an SSV node for the new um, SSV version 2 testnet using a Docker. So, uh, two ways we're going to do this one from scratch and then the other um, updating an existing setup. If you already have a version 1 node, um, you'll need to wipe the data directory and start over, um, but you can use the old key. So, <clears throat> let's give this a quick try. Um, I'm here in my Docker Devil on the development machine, and I'm just going to follow these instructions here on ethdocker.net. So I already did the whole, I need Docker Compose, I need the actual tool, right, into some directory. And then we're going to do ethdconfig, and um, after that generate keys, and then get going. You will see um, secrets here during the video. Everything I'm creating will be deleted after. So let's do ethdconfig. And it's going to be the girly testnet. We're going to do a blocks node. Um, let's do lighthouse and geth. Why not? We do want rapid sync so that this lighthouse comes up quick. The way that's going to work is we're going to go into Infura, have an eth2 project. That's what they call it, not a web3 project. Go to manage key. We want prater. Again, don't get too excited. This project will be deleted after. And give that URL in here. Say OK, uh, MEV boost. It's a really good question. I don't actually know um, how SSV interacts with it, so I'm just going to say yes for now. Um, Grafana dashboards, sure, why not? Transaction rewards need to go somewhere. Uh, that's a post merge thing. All right, one sec. So I'm going to have them go to a uh, kiln test address that I have here back from when we were on the kiln network. And no, we're not doing an overwrite. So now this is coming up. It will build all the uh, components it needs. And then we'll do an FD. Actually, we will not do an FD up right away. We will need to do this here. Uh, Docker Compose run RM SSV generate keys. This will give me keys. Okay, so about this fee recipient I said, um, this is a default for the consensus layer client. It will, however, be overridden by the SSV node itself. So that default is just in case there's an, uh, uh, an issue with the SSV node client and it does not set a recipient itself. In that case, um, it would go to that address uh, as a fallback. But in normal operation, all of these fees uh, go to an address set by the SSV node client. All right, so now we're going to Docker Compose run and generate these keys. <clears throat> so what you have here is the public key and the private key. The private key goes into your configuration file. The public key you will need uh, to register this node. Take a backup copy of both. Um, if you ever reset the node from scratch, you'll need this private key. And again, to register it, you need the public key. So let's take a quick look at to what next. Um, create ourselves a configuration file and then edit it and put the operator private key in. So let's do that. So we're just going to first create it. So we're going to say nano blocks SSV config YAML. And I'm just going to copy this key here. So I have it, but not the, um, the quotes, but everything in between. All right. And then it says operator private key, your private key here. So I'm just going to delete that part and say we want it like that. Good and control x to exit yes to save enter done now what's next let's take a quick look and start everything with fd up okay let's do that and then we'll take a look at the no at the logs and i of course had some stuff running here um, already on these ports because I'm running other tests here. So I'm going to rerun this again on uh, non-conflicting ports. 
So one change from the documentation is, I say, to take, like, take a look at the logs of SSV node. This is now SSV2 dash node. Um, that's going to be in the new documentation, which should be ready by about August 22nd of 2022. So let's just take a quick look to see that's coming up. And I see here it's failing because it cannot connect to the uh, consensus client. So let's take a look at what the consensus client is doing. We'll just have to give that time uh, to come up, right? So it loaded the checkpoint block. It did that from Infura. It's showing me here uh, endpoint far behind for Geth. That is as expected. And I really just need it to come up now on its REST API and um, be available for the SSV node. So that's port 5052 that it will come up on. Let's give it a minute here. Okay, and I see HTTP API started 5052, so that's good, it's now up. And now I should see the SSV2 node eventually when it's restarting, making a successful connection to this 5052 port here. And there we are. Okay, so now it's running. We see this is 030 release candidate one. That version will change. Um, my S1 node is not healthy. That's completely expected because it's not synchronized. Um, that will uh, fix itself as it synchronizes. Okay, that's everything for setting up an SSV2 node from scratch. Now let's take a quick, 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 quick look at what this looks like when I already have one. So this is a running version one node. And we're just gonna blow that away and go for version two. So all I need to do here, in theory, if it works, is F the update. And you can see I haven't touched this in quite a while. Do I want to switch over to SSV v2? Yes, I do. Stopping the container, there it goes. Um, it created a backup copy of my configuration file and uh, now it's building my execution and uh, consensus clients, it's grabbing flashbots. And when this is done, I should see that it has switched me over to the SSV2 file. So let's just see that that happened. So I see I have a new node tag here, version 3.0.3. And up here, it's blocks SSV2 instead of blocks SSV. Um, yeah, so this all looks good. We'll just do an FD restart. Which now, remember the SSV node was already shut down, just brings down the consensus execution and MEV boost. Restarts everything and brings up SSV2 node. Um, I again need to be sure that the consensus is actually running before SSV2 node can connect to it. Uh, so this is the same thing that you saw previously. Um, this needs to have its 5052 up and then SSV2 node will connect. Let's just see that SSV2 node has no other issues. And this is looking good. So you see here it's um, it's initializing the database in a new space, actually. Um, and then it fails connecting to the Beacon client, so the consensus client here, because that's not actually up yet. Uh, give it just one more second here, just so we can see it. Okay, this is on 5052 now. Execution engine is online. Um, in this case, this is already fully synchronized because this was working previously. So I expect no errors here as it comes up. And all required services are ready. Operator successful, could not find validators. That's absolutely true. There are none on this because we just moved it over to V2. All right, thank you so much. I hope that was useful.